Oh, I guess I must have dozed off. I had that dream again. The bastards, they're hounding me. Mullen, where are we now? It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Ball. I keep telling you, Mullen. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me, but Lieutenant Lean is still here. <laughs> it's just like you to answer like that. But you know that Lean is a very special part of our military plans, aren't you, Lean? The third excavation of the salt runes is almost finished. I'm counting on you, too. Mullen, lean. We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. I'm sure that we'll hear good news. The current time is 1340 hours. Now passing through Parm airspace. Our ETA is 15.30 hours. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. I'll teach you, you punk! Oh. oh, Justin, not you again. You just don't learn trashing my shit again. I didn't trash it. Why won't you listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk. Now you've completely trashed it. Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? Ouch. That awful man, he never, ever understands. Justin! <laughs> Justin, Justin, you okay? That sound is...
really like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry. A punch like that, nothing to it. For a first-rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Right. So how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. But Sue, what about you? Of course I found something. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. I found it all by myself. Oh, yeah. Puppy helped, too. Here you go, Justin, the legendary armor. Great, Sue. That's the first one. That leaves the Shield of Light, the Warrior's Helmet, and the Spirit Sword. Don't forget, we got to get him by sundown or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful gun. You know, it's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better take responsibility. Okay. I know, I know. Come on. Let's go show this to Gans. Puppy, let's go too. <laughs> we found it, Gans. The first treasure.
Captain. Ouch! Mom! What did I do? How many times do I have to tell you? No dirty shoes in the kitchen. Even so, you don't have to hit me with your tray. Don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Seagull Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have worked. Out you go. My little troublemaker. You could at least help if you're going to be in the kitchen. Hello, Aunt Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. Justin's brain can't get any worse than it already is. Mom! I'm hurt. How could you say such things about your only darling son? <laughs> well, why don't you just be good so I don't have to, hmm, Justin? I've been getting in trouble all day today.
Finch. Your troops were made a slave. 
Aren't you a little lax on discipline? Don't give me that, Nana. The last time they were late, I made them all give me 3,000 more. Oh, Saki. You're such a muscle freak. I'd make him go without rations for a hundred days. Oh, Mio, you're too kind. If it were me, I'd give him 5,000 lashes. Then I'd pickle him and grind and give him a hundred days in a break. <laughs> that would kill him. If Hermon were to get wind of that, he'd have your head. No problem. I just swear him to secrecy, and Herr Mullen would never be the wiser. <laughs> Come on. We need to get going, too. Or we'll be late for the rendezvous. Right, Mio. If we were to be late, it'd be hard to keep from the truth. Mullen Company, fall in, face forward. Salt Ruin Special Survey Team, roll call. Squad leaders, front and center. Sergeant Nana, leader of the Bloody Rose Squad reporting. Sergeant Saki, leader of the Lightning Star Squad, all men accounted for. Sergeant Mio, leader of the Desert Moon Squad, all men present. Colonel Mullen will now address the troops before deployment. All soldiers, listen carefully. Yes, Lieutenant. My dear soldiers, our squad will now commence the final excavation of the Salt Ruins. Operation Yudrasil is entering the final stage. Now we only have to find the last remaining piece. I needn't remind you that the depths of these ruins are dangerous. You may even be risking your life. However, this is our time. You, the Honorable Garlisle Forces, will bring a great boon to humanity. Go! You, the elite of Garlisle, will open the door to the wisdom of the ancient Angelo civilization. I am counting on every one of you. Yes, sir. Bloody Rose Squad, you take the east. Lightning Star Squad has the west. Desert Moon Squad, take the south. You have your assignments. We're counting on you. Good luck. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. The time is 15.06 hours. All squads have begun operations. Hmm. Lean. You've also become quite an able aide de camp. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you, Herr Mullen. 
<laughs> well, let's get to work ourselves. Let's go, Lean. Yes, sir.
welcome he who holds the spirit stone. Welcome he who holds the spirit stone, symbol of the promise between the humans and the spirits. Who? Who are you? I am Liette of Alent. I have lived through and inherited the history of Angelo. What's going on? Ah, we're, we're gonna fall! Don't be scared. This is the land you live in when seen from the height of the stars. Come, please tell me. What were you seeking when you opened the door? Gee, you're uh, sort of putting me on the spot. Hey! How did you know that I have a spirit stone? All power is born from the light of the spirit stone. Without it, the door of Angelo does not open. But Angelo is just a mythical world. It is no myth. The stone that you hold is the ancient symbol of the promise between the humans and spirits. Look. A world created by an eternal promise between the light of the spirits and the wings of the Icarians this is the world of Angelo. The light of the Icarians and the grace of the spirits will not wane, lest all of the stars sparkling in the sky turn to embers. Ever since receiving the blessing of the spirits, the people unyoked themselves of the original restrictions and began to walk along the path of evolution. The light of the Icarians and that of the spirit stones are the symbols of peace in this world. <laughs> 